This is a throttle lock, AKA cheap cruise control. There are all kinds of these things on Amazon and Ali Boo Boo and eBay. You can get them as cheap as 99 cents. Now I'm as cheap as the next guy, but I'm not that cheap. So I dropped the $30 on this marvel of technology and engineering just so I could see how it stacks up to, well, not having cruise control or, you know, you know what I'm saying. So does this thing put you within an inch of death? Or is it just a cool little gadget that you throw on your throttle on your 2023 Vespa GTS in Bianco Innocente and go merrily along your way down the road 60 miles an hour cruising and not losing feeling in your wrist and being able to pick your nose and do your hair and put on your makeup, whatever you do on your scooter at 60 miles an hour, you need both hands. Well, let's find out. Few things as a disclaimer, if you will. I, this is not a sponsored video because, I mean, let's face it, no one's gonna sponsor this shit. I tried. Also, I'm not encouraging you to buy this, and so there's no like affiliate links or anything like that down in the comments. This, I, I don't want responsibility. I don't wanna, I don't want this on me if you try one of these things and you end up splattered on the side of I-5. That's just, I, I don't have the money for that. So, you know, if you decide to try this thing, just be careful. I think I just set off the decibel meter on my Apple Watch. There are, of course, other solutions other than this. Some people take an O-ring, a rubber O-ring, and put it like right here, and then slip it between the throttle and the, and the bar end weight thing. That doesn't seem safe to me, but people do it. They like it. Be careful. Another thing you can do is take some Gorilla Glue and just super glue basically your throttle open. Now you can't ever close it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that that's not CE rated. There's this thing called a, what is it? A wrist buster or throttle flap or something? I don't know. It's like a little fin that goes on your throttle. And so basically you can rest your palm on it and I don't know, I think that would just get in the way and look really silly on two each his own. You do you. In case I forgot to mention it, this is called the Go Cruise 2. And like I said, there's a thousand copies of it. I don't know if I would spend $30 on this again instead of just cheaping out and buying the $8 version, but whatever. This is what I got. We're gonna take it out in the open road and see how it, bef that's the train. Okay, so the open road's on the other side of that, but we're gonna take it out on the open road and we're gonna see how this performs out in the mean streets of Portland. Before we get started, let me show you how this thing works. So. You install this little rubber band here, and I think that does two things. I think it provides a little bit more grip, and I think it protects your, your, uh, your grip thing there. And then all you do is you just take this, and you slide it on, and you crank it down. And this is where you just got to kind of adjust the pressure until it's, until it's about right. So you go down the street, and you want to put your makeup on, and so you get up to about 60, right? That's usually where I put my makeup on. And then you just click this thing down, and now your throttle stays open. You can do it with your thumb. You can do it with your finger. And then a big truck pulls out in front of you and you just twist the throttle off. That's it. Anyway, that's how that works. Let's get out in the road and, and test it out. All right, let's test out what this thing can do. Oh, breakfast. All right, we're on the road. Now, there's a couple of ways you can engage this. You could do it with your thumb or you could do it with your forefinger. I like to do it with my forefinger. So let's get up to 50 miles an hour at some point. Great. Now I'm going to lock the throttle down and I'm going to make micro adjustments along the way. But so right now I can feel myself slowing down. All right. So now we're locked in. We're going 45 ish, right? And we're losing speed. Okay. All right, not a glowing review so far. Oh no, we're locked in now. So I'm gonna adjust it. I'm gonna go up a little bit and with my finger on the on the thing. All right, so we adjusted it up a little bit. Now we're going 45, which is the speed limit because I, I like to follow the rules, people. All right. We're... S Jesus, Jesus criminy. I hope there's an airport around here. Jeez. All right, look at this, 50 miles an hour. We're locked in, baby. Now I can, I can, I can, I can make, oh God, look at the wobble though. What is going on with this scooter today? All right, I don't know what's going on. 
All right, look at, so I'm going 50 miles an hour, 50, so I could put on my makeup. I could make pancakes if I wanted to. I don't want to do any of those things. All I really want to do is sort of like every once in a while, just go like this, like shake off the numbness or whatever from holding the throttle down. Cause you know, let's just pretend I'm going cross country. Let's pretend I'm in Nebraska or something, right? And I'm traveling along and look at, Nebraska has mountains now. Huh, who knew? Anyway, I'm traveling through Nebraska and my wrist is tired man from holding the throttle for 3,000 miles through Nebraska I could take it off it's gonna maintain my speed I'm just gonna stretch out my wrist a little bit I might stretch out this one too I might stretch them out both I might do fucking aerobics at this point Ooh, oh god okay I'm not gonna do that so let's let's just calm down a little bit but so anyway that's how that works now I'm traveling through Nebraska with the mountains okay and this giant truck pulls out in front of me. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to say hi to this dude. Hello. Hey. Oh my God now. I'm in Nebraska and there's a truck pulling out in front of me. What should I do? So all you do is this. Okay. Are you done? Hit the brakes. You're going to live. You lived. You lived to see another day, people. You lived to see another day. So we'll just adjust it back the way we were get it tuned in a little bit and now we can continue on through Nebraska what a country I'm gonna stop and show you this mountain can I stop and show you this mountain oh yeah throttle lock is on <laughs> what, did I, what did we learn what did we learn people I don't know if you can see this mountain or not I'll try to zoom in oh it's now you can't because that guy Anyway, look at how beautiful that is. Look at where I live. I don't know. I mean, I hate it here. Like, of course I do, but like everyone does. But, you know, I got mountains and water. Look at water. All right. So where were we? Did I start recording on this? Oh, I f hate myself. I didn't start recording. Oh, f me. All right, I just had a bug level freak out because I thought I wasn't recording on my helmet cam. You don't want to see a bug level freak out, people. Okay. All right. I almost just ditched. Okay. So I talked about, so driving the wrist, being able to put on your makeup, blah, blah, blah. All right, so coming up, I'm going to take a turn. Oh boy, what do I do? Oh, just throttle off. Yeah. There you go. No big deal. So I definitely don't recommend using this device, let's say, inside the city. Like, with lots of traffic and stop and go and people texting and whatever people do in their cars these days. I saw someone playing video games the other day. I don't know, man. I don't know. Why can't you just drive like a person? Anyway. That's a different video. I don't recommend this if you're new to scootering. Like, you know, get to know how everything works before we start adding stuff like this on. Why am I... Why do I have to lean to the left? Is it my bag? I don't know. I don't recommend this if you're easily distracted. Because you know, leaving it on, you get, you forget that it's on. Yeah, that could cause a problem, I guess, if you're kind of a boathead. Like me. Why do I have to lean over to the left to keep this bike straight when I'm using no hands? Is it because the road is curved? I definitely don't recommend riding no hands. Um, especially if your uh, Vespa tends to wobble a little bit, like mine sometimes does. Okay, went to hit the brakes and I had the throttle lock engaged. The brakes still work. You have to just overcome the fact that the throttle is, is open, which really when you've got 12 horsepower, it doesn't really make a difference. I think this video has probably gone on way too long. I think I'm just gonna start the whole thing over. This is, this is getting ridiculous now. Let's start over, you ready? Hey 
this is bug. I recently bought this throttle lock and it works pretty good. This is how it works. Bam, you throw it down, you, you, your throttle's locked and you maintain speed. Cool, it was 30 bucks on Amazon, but you can get them cheaper. All right, I'll see you on the next one. I'm learning. I'm, le I'm, really, I'm really getting good at this now. And I finally learned how to keep things concise. This should be my new thing. I should just do 30 second videos. Like, let me, let me review this fly screen again. You ready? Hey, this is Bug. Today on the channel, we're going to be talking about this fly screen. I bought this. I put it on. It prevents flies from hitting me in the face. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Hey, this is Bug. This is a helmet. I bought it. I put it on my head. It tends to save me when I crash into things. You should buy one. Cool. I'll catch you on the next one. This is my 2023 Vespa GTS in... Bianca Bonicente. I don't know. I really like it. It goes fast, it goes slow, and I can turn in different directions. I would highly suggest you go out and buy one. Cool. I'll catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe. I gotta go. What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? I got another video coming at you live from Portland. Today we're talking about gloves. These are gloves. I bought them. No, actually, I didn't buy them. They were given to me, but these are gloves. You should buy some. They're good. Cool. I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, guys. Woo, guys. Yeah. Coming at you live from Portland. Yeah. I really can't pull that off. I can't pull that whole thing off. It really drives me bananas when people start their videos with, hey guys, how y'all doing out in YouTube land? Today I'm coming at you with another video of, like, dude, you're just telling me you're coming at me with another video? Like, oh, you know, here he is. He's coming at me with another video, guys. Get over it. Seriously, what are we talking about now? What was this vid? Ooh, Vespa. Hi, Vespa. I'm gonna get my fucking directional on too. God, I'm sure there's a thousand ways that this could be dangerous. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna be this thing that is the danger. I think it's this thing that's gonna be the danger. If you forget you have it on, if you're just silly with it, if you use it in traffic, just use your, use your noggin. That hurts. Quality, quality. One danger that I could definitely see that this poses is if you crash, your throttle's gonna be stuck open. And then you've got basically a killer robot scooter driving down the road without a person on it. I don't know, I guess that could happen. That's why you have a kill switch. If you think you're about to get into a crash, throttle off, hit your kill switch, call it a day. Before a crash, you're naturally gonna break and throttle off anyway, so I don't think it's that big of a deal, but keep that in mind. You crash, the thing could end up driving itself down the road. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Like self-parking. No, it's not like that at all. So, does it get the bug splat of approval? <laughs> yeah, it does. 30 bucks, again, you can get them cheaper. Keeps your throttle open, keeps you happy, keeps your wrist happy, everyone's happy. No one's happy. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing if you haven't, and then seek therapy because why would, if you like this channel, you've, you got some, you got some issues. Pancakes already? Okay, I gotta go.